Hey folks, good morning. Welcome back to Midwest Outdoors. We are in beautiful southern Wisconsin and we are going to be using kayaks and some deep water techniques to try to get some big largemouth and some big smallmouth bass. Hopefully we have some exciting clips for you and uh, we'll see you soon. fish number one here and I found it a little shallower than anticipated although it's not a surprise because it's a little early in the morning so if they're pushed up a little shallower we'll just switch things up a little bit uh, right now I'm casting a moving bait uh, so let's see if we can trigger a few more bites so we got the first smallie of the day and we got this guy in 20 feet of water they must have just cut the weeds recently because there's a lot of surface cut weeds and it's kind of hard to do the application I'm doing consistently. Last week I really didn't have to worry about that at all, so it's a little bit of a pain in the neck, but uh, we'll get through it. If we can't overcome it, we'll just have to switch up our presentation. So this is a nice average Lake Geneva Smalley, but they get much bigger than this, so hopefully uh, we can provide that in the next few hours. Today is kind of interesting. It's clear that the bite that we were looking for deep with crankbaits isn't there. And it wasn't more than five minutes with this drop shot in about 24 to 27 feet of water that we get this guy. Not bad, they're getting a little better. Large mouth finally, we had small mouth that are bigger than this, but uh, we'll take it. The bite's been really weird today. It's been uh, sort of on and off and, and sporadic. Not at all like the uh, numbers days that I've had before here. But sometimes you just have to adjust, and that's what we did to get the big smallies. Looks like the deep bite might be picking up just a little bit. Let's see what we have to the end of the day. So we switched to the drop shot and we started catching what Lake Geneva has to offer. In this case, it looks like a nice 19 inch smallmouth. We'll put it on the board and check it out. But the uh, drop shot seems to be the ticket. We went out with an intent to uh, do some long lining and some trolling techniques using our pedal drive in a kayak and we did cover a lot of water. We did find a little success. I lost an enormous smallmouth first thing in the morning. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you that. The trolling and the long lining wasn't terribly successful. So what we had to do is we had to switch techniques. On this lake, if moving baits aren't too successful, I've had success in the past finessing them, scaling down, slimming down, making your baits a little smaller, using plastics. In this case, 
we switched to a drop shot rig. And using that drop shot rig, I was able to catch some really nice smallmouth. Sometimes you just have to adapt and sometimes you have to switch up presentations and let the fish tell you uh, what they want. I also want to talk to you about the importance of electronics. Having a good fish finder or a graph on your kayak or your boat is crucial to success. In this case, I was scanning water anywhere from 20 to 28 to 30 feet of water, and what I was looking for primarily was bait fish. But if I could find sparse weeds or, or weed patches or anything that looked juicy, that was good too. But get yourself some good electronics with some good side imaging, down imaging, and lake maps. And I think that you'll find with some experience under your belt, learning how to use your electronics is going to lead to lots of success. So uh, I'm Dusty Yacker with Midwest Outdoors. Thanks for checking in and we hope to see you soon.